Hello, 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 house flipper. One, starting a new save here, because I want to be able to do the full experience from start to finish here. Well, maybe not to finish, but you know, from, from start to somewhere. Uh, we start off with the shack here. We're gonna tidy it up a little bit, and then we're gonna start taking on some jobs. I've got all the DLC, so we might bounce around a little bit. I don't know, I haven't really decided. I'm playing this after playing the demo of House Flipper 2. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tidy up. I forget how everything works in this game. There's tool choice menu, what does that mean? Oh, wow. You only get access to other features after you do a certain amount of work, I think. Yeah, here we go. We get to open up our tablet and... Is it not tab? Hello? I can't do that now, it says. Tablet is tab. Maybe I'm supposed to go into the house first and look at my laptop. I cannot afford to buy a house yet, but it looks like you've got your first email. My ex-boyfriend stole the radiator from my house. I'd like to hire a company to put my house in order. I know that photos posted on face spam that my ex-boyfriend broke into my house, made a huge mess, stole the radiator, blah, 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 blah. I accept your job. I will come and fix up your house and install a new radiator. I've turned on the setting that turns the bugs into glass, just in case that makes anybody squeamish. Doesn't bother me, but you know. So we got a new tool called the mop. Now, I don't think there's any messes outside that need to be dealt with. I think this is an indoor problem. So what we'll do is we'll start by picking up all the trash. Those are violent candle flames. And we'll start mopping. Clean up the walls, clean up the countertop and the sink. All with a mop. I'm standing on the table. Mop that too. Mop the floors. So that fixes the, well, not quite. Now the couch. Well, we can mop the couch too. Okay, that fixes up that room. This room's a bit of a mess. I think we're done cleaning. No, there's still a bit more. Okay, now it's just uh, cleaning up the newspaper, cleaning up the boxes, picking up all the trash. That looks good. And then this room, well, I mean, I don't think this is my job, but we'll clean up the bathroom too. Now, do I have reflections turned up? That's funny. Is there an option to turn that up higher? No. No. I've got some of these options off just for now. We're using US dollar. I mean, I could switch to Canadian dollars to make it a little bit more understandable for myself, but that's fine. US dollars. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They may as well just be uh, like flipper bucks or something. Hmm. It's weird to be able to move that without moving the X on top of it. That's one of the nice things from, uh, from House Flipper 2 that they've added. Okay, so we need to mount a radiator. Pick that up. Stick that in. Uh, doesn't really matter where. Just needs to be on this wall. And the tap. Turn it on. Let the hot water through. And we're done. This place is clean. Can I fix that? Or is that just... Are you busted? Uh-oh. Well, that's busted, but that's not really my problem. Uh, move that onto the stove, I guess. No, it doesn't want to be on the stove. Is it just... Eh, it just can't be on the stove. Alright, fair enough. Uh, this place is clean. Back to the office. So this is what the start of the game is mostly like. It's going to be taking on these little jobs, unlocking various tools, and then slowly cleaning up our little shack here until we can afford something else. Then we'll sell the shack. Every time we come back, we'll do a little bit of tidying up, right? Work means victory. Good work takes hard work. I can sleep in this filthy bed. Can I clean this filthy bed? I don't have my I don't have my broom here. Can I put that on the counter? Uh-oh. Oh, it's because the counter's busted. Okay, fair enough. Is this broken too? Wow. Well, let's just set those there for now. And then put the sink up against the wall. Can I not move that? Is that because that's plumbed into the wall, maybe? Uh-oh. Now I'm in trouble. Okay. Stop messing around. Can I turn this on and off? No. Where's my broom? What, do I have to buy the broom myself? Is that a thing? No, I'm not even allowed to open up my tablet here. Alright, I guess we'll come back later because we're not really accomplishing anything and we're gonna have to mow this at some point anyway, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter too much. He says, and then continues to do exactly what he was already doing. Oh, did I not, uh, I didn't technically finish. Oh, I didn't technically finish. I just left. I just walked away. That's my bad. That's my fault. Hello, I'm here to say that I've completed the job, thank you. we get the beautiful before and after photos. 
I didn't even pick up that little <laughs> Barely anything changed outside. I like modern furniture. So now I get to take my broom home, I assume. We'll see after that. There we go. There's my broom. Now we can start to tidy up a little bit in here. I know the ceiling's gross. This place is disgusting. Some of that's just like the wallpaper design. <laughs> like the wall, these tiles are just designed to be scummy dirty. That's part of the, <laughs> that's part of the aesthetic. All right, yeah, okay, those are just ugly tiles. Fair enough. That scuff is, uh, it's part of the wall. It's part of the paint. It's part of the paint style. Yep, because look, I can wipe the dirt right off of it. And it stays scuffed. Special. That's not coming clean. That's not coming clean. Oh no, my house is just fundamentally gross. This is the worst mop. This is the worst looking mop I've ever seen. This is just a straw broom. There's no mop here. Alright, it's starting to look like the outside of the house is clean. Or at least cleaner. That door is awful. What can I do? Nothing at the moment. I could buy another door eventually. I mean, eventually I think we'll end up replacing pretty much everything. At least straighten that out. Why can I not put it there? There's not enough space on the wall. Okay, fair enough. Let's do another job. We'll get another tool. Uh, this is from the gardening DLC, so we'll do these non-DLC one, non ones first for this video. And then maybe what happens is if there's enough stuff for another DLC, we'll do a full video focused on that DLC. Cleaning the garage, throw away boxes, trash, and old tires. Don't forget to clean the window. Don't touch the tools. This one's just a tidying mission. Just help tidy up, please. Tidy up the garage. Don't touch the tools. My husband. I'm so strong. <laughs> I could just move that. Just want them to know. Alright, disgusting. So all these old boxes and crates, you don't need these. These are garbage. These tools, they've been touched. New cleaning skill. What does that mean? Ah, look at that. Good mop. Ultra mop. I think seeing the dirt on the minimap first foremost is more important than being able to get rid of it quickly. We have two levels of that. We can see most of it now. And then in gardening here, it's like, uh, oh, let's just make, I think minimap vision is important. Because it helps you identify what you're missing way quicker. Lots of old tires here. Lots of new tires too. All right, I'm sorry that you were using garbage to prop up your bikes. And now begins the task of cleaning. Let's get the window out of the way real quick here. Got a magic squeegee. It's a squeegee vacuum. Open that up, let some air in. We'll go back to sweeping with our little straw broom here. Get those, scrub those tire marks off the, off the concrete. Always so satisfying seeing these places after they're done being cleaned. Again, we don't want to touch the tools, but we will clean the table underneath them. So that's 100% done. That's everything complete. And we didn't touch his tools, so they don't have anything to complain about. Look at this. We'll even pull the car into the garage. Above and beyond. I'm just snooping now. Oh, we've already been in there. Nice house. Pretty tidy. Make the bed. That'll be a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Some stranger came into your house. Made the bed. I can sleep in the bed. That's actually hilarious. There's no light switch for the hallway light. I lied. Any dishes need to be done? Where do these doors go? Ah, look at this. Toys on the floor. Could be a little bit cleaner. And goodbye. Enjoy your energy bill. Look at that before and after. <laughs> Car just vanishes. That's funny. All right, that's the first few tasks done. We'll do some more of them later. All right, let's see what we got next. Ooh, wait a minute. Everything's fine. A few gross stains on my desk and my chair. Ew. And then it looks like there's something outside that I can sense. There we go. Good as new. Radiators. I'll pay you if I'm fully satisfied or you get nothing. Winter is coming. 
the winters are hard and there are no radiators in my house. Mount them. <laughs> Doesn't even say who it's from. <laughs> so I'm just mounting radiators, right? So if there's any other issues, tough. It says I'm done. Oh, that was weird. At some point we might uh, change these to like an easier assembly mode so we don't have to think too much about what we're doing here. These start to get repetitive, these tasks. New handyman skill available. Fantastic. Oh, am I installing a sink too? Alright. Uh, does it matter what kind? It just says sink. I mean, I'm not gonna invest a lot here, am I? Whoops. There we go. I didn't do the other one. I wish installing a faucet was that easy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang on. We turned on the water ahead of time. Why would we do that? Not an issue. Quickly clean that up. Then we'll put in a towel radiator. Are these things that people have in their homes? I've never had one of these, but... It seems like a nice concept. Have a warm towel. Oh, jeez. I've done it again. There we go, all clean. And one final radiator for this room. Excuse me, why are you zooming in? <laughs> that was weird. New handyman skill available. Oh, really? Um, I think the tiles is going to be the one that's going to get me through some of the most tedious stuff. And then this one here, let's just get the extra payment. The earlier we start making a little bit more money, the better. I like the part where it showed the room where nothing changed. <laughs> Asana will increase the price. Gross. Amaranth walls. Baby on the way, we'll do amaranth walls. Also replace the broken electrical socket, apparently. I'm an electrician now. Okay. We shall see. <laughs> if that's what you want, we'll do our best. Congratulations, you've unlocked a new tool. Paint with the colors Amaranth, Adventure, and Gray. Oh, it's gonna be nice to update this painting. Oh, you can keep painting over where you've already finished. Doesn't stop. I do prefer the way painting is done in House Flipper 2 now. I'm looking forward to getting the painting upgrades. Wow. Uh, do we just have one accent wall, maybe? Maybe we do the big walls. Yeah, we'll do this wall uh, in Amaranth as well. And then we'll do this in gray. Maybe just this in gray, actually. Maybe just this back kitchen wall. And I don't think the interior of the windows uh, frames matter. Uh, you don't waste paint on an already painted wall. That one's... I think that's critical. Because now I'm refilling way less often. Might need another bucket of amaranth paint. Or maybe we do both this wall, the kitchen wall, and this TV wall in gray. We could. We'll think about that. Oh, well, that's it. That's all the paint. Do we have enough to finish? Yes. So that's why I'm thinking. Let's have that empty bucket. If we get a medium of gray, that might even be too much paint. Amaranth Adventure is what that actual color is called. 
kind of rosy purple-ish color. And the last little bit here, and then we're done this room. 97, 98, 99, 100 percent complete. We gain a skill for painting, which is the less paint that we use, the better, although this painting more walls at the same time, it's nice and the faster painting. Just not having to refill the paint as often is uh, is really nice. Oh, the electrical outlet needs to be fixed here. And this is like a weird... Why is this like a weird European outlet? <laughs> it's actually not even. It's just... Is this fictional? Does this exist, this outlet style? Because it's not American. It's not North American. But it also doesn't feel European. Just plug all these in real quick. cover on and screw it in that's the end of that now there's still more now what's the problem in here there's an electrical outlet where is it I think it is behind this bed yep there it is we'll just fix that up real quick take that off Unscrew those both at the same time, pull that out, put the new one in, stick the wires in. That one too. We do all three screws at once, with our three arms and our three screwdrivers. Uh, screw in both of those at the same time. And that one is complete. We'll put the bed back because we're not monsters. And that's everything complete. One, two, three, four dollars. Thank you. Didn't touch this room. All right, so I don't know how much footage I've heard to make an episode out of here. This might be a short one, uh, but that's all right. If you've enjoyed this, let me know so we can make more. Next time, I will be jumping into the... I think it's Gardening DLC. There's a there's a quest on the laptop there for Gardening DLC. So we might look into some of that stuff now that we've got... Yeah, a bit of gravel, a couple bushes. And then we'll probably do some generic non-DLC content as well. Because I don't think that I'm going to have enough content. Like enough uh, quests coming in to just do exclusively that gardening stuff. There's a ton of... A ton of DLC, though, so there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be able to explore. And we can now sell objects, so we can actually get rid of some of this stuff, like that, and that, and that. And anything that's like junk that we don't really need in our little shack here right now, like, I realize that this is all decorative and whatnot, but, like, I don't need these things right now. I'd like to clear them out now rather than later. Uh, these posters are kind of ugly. Um, the bed will eventually sell, this count, this stuff will eventually sell, there's a bunch of broken stuff. Like, you may as well that broken mirror, it's not really good for you. And why well, you can even sell the windows and put in new windows, but we, we're not going to do that right now, even though they'll give us like, a nice 80 bucks. So thanks for watching, and if you enjoy this, let me know. There's more coming whether you want it or not. <laughs> Take it easy, goodbye for now. Farewell. <laughs>